Okay, what's up guys? Um, in the last episode, I made it all the way to this Pokemon Center here. And did I heal my Pokemon? No, I did not. Um, I made it all the way here. But, uh, what I have not yet done yet is get the fishing rod. I said I was going to get a fishing rod here, but I haven't yet. Because I just was kind of in a rush and cut it right as I was like, and here you get the fishing rod, so... Again, here's the fishing rod right here. This guy's like, would you like one of my rods? As if that doesn't sound suggestive enough. And then he gives us an older rod. He can't even give us a new one. He has to give us an older rod. Um, and so now with this, we can fish, which is going to be useful for me. Because I need to catch a water type, obviously, to go fishing. Uh, we battled this guy already. He has flying types. Uh, and so yeah, now we can go into this cave, and what's going to be challenging about this cave is the fact that there are Geodudes in here. I might have to just run away from a lot of them, um, because they're very difficult to beat with only a ghost type move and scratch, so. Um, I do suggest going through this whole area and just grab everything. Um, because you're not going to really come here that often. There's, like, not many reasons to come back here. Alright, Vulpix. And I'm going to use my fake out move here. And finish him off with a nightshade. If the volume's a little low, I mean, uh, a little high, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit, um, so that you can hear me talk better. Okay. So into here and up here there's a thingy an X defend uh, I never use the uh, X whatever items um, usually okay and over here we have a TM 39 rock tomb uh, rock tomb is a great move um, because it lowers the speed okay as I was saying rock tomb is a great move because it lowers speed of the Pokemon Okay, here we go. A little battle here. Whoa, what a surprise. I didn't expect to see anyone here. So, Hiker Daniel um, is a bit of a learner. Okay, this should be interesting. Taking on an Onyx with a Sableye. Probably should have led with a um, fake out there, but oh well. Ooh, that did a good amount. So this guy is going to see if our Pokemon are good enough for Azalea. Geodude, level 4. This shouldn't be bad. Fake out fail. Oh, darn. Can I only use that when Sable Eye first comes in? Because if that's true, I, that kind of stinks. I didn't realize that. I am a bit of an idiot.
gonna use an astonish here. Just because I know I can't. Oh, maybe I could have. Um, I was thinking like flinch, but oh well. Okay, fire breather here. Huh, and we all know how he feels about Zubats confusing Pokemon. Great ball. Slightly better than the Pokeball. Okay, I do want to get out of here soon because I am running a little low on moves. Um, so, let's see if we can get out of here. Just about out of the cave. I'm grabbing an awakening. And we're through. And it's pouring rain. And there are a couple apricorns over here. And they actually put these here just because of the fact that the guy who um, makes Pokeballs out of apricorns is very close to here. And there is one last battle um, before reaching Azalea, and it's this guy over here. Now he's going to come in with a Machop, which I don't believe the Machop can hit me because I am ghost type, but I'm not positive about that. I'm not sure if he has any other moves that would be able to hit me. Guess not. Sableye makes it through the cave and all the way to Azalea without even taking a hit. And he wants a phone number, but I'm not going to give it to him either. 
And so that's it. We're into Azalea Town. Um, there's going to be a little confrontation here um, between this guy and a Team Rocket member. And, and so let's... That wasn't there before in like gold and silver and crystal versions, but it just kind of like catches your attention um, to that guy. And so I'm going to bring it into the Pokemon Center, and that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you for watching. Um, comment, rate, sub, all that good stuff. And in the next episode, we'll take on Team Rocket for the first time. Uh, so, you know, new stuff. And um, uh, just getting to watch Sableye kick butt. Alright, thanks.